Now, around this time, you also uh, did maybe one angle, and then you worked one house show, one World's Collide for ECW. Um, you worked with, uh, I think it was you and Terry Funk against Bob Eaton and uh, Sabu. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Again, they booked us out and uh, booked Bobby and I out. I think this was still kind of when we're in that interim period. And the story was that, that when I, Bobby and I were partners for that year and a half, whatever it was, and when we were let go, uh, when I got hurt, Bobby didn't wait on me. You know, he, he just went on and he went to Smoky Mountain and right. did his own thing, and that was the story. And they kind of carried that theme through into the ECW TV. And uh, we did the same thing there, and uh, that was one of those deals. It was, it was horrible to watch. Um, as far as what? As far as working? Well, Terry started with Sabu, right. and this was their home turf. And as I saw it develop, I knew what they were doing. They were protecting themselves. We were just passing through. We were there for one day and one day only. I knew it, they knew it, and they were taking care of themselves. Now, the match started. These guys fought all over the building, up in the balcony, all the way down. Bobby Eaton and I were standing there, scratching our ass for five minutes, literally, watching this. All right. They roll back in the ring, they're both bleeding, and they come over and tag us. Now, as a wrestler, there's nowhere to go from there. Right. What do you do? I mean, they've, they've fell out of the balcony, they went through tables, they've done everything. So we went in, I grabbed the headlock, sat down with it. The place went silent. Right. And I just looked at the ref, and the ref went, you know, he, I don't know if he expected us to try to outdo those guys right. or what. And I said, pal, I'm passing through. And we just, you know, went through a little bit of a match and tagged out, and they did their thing, and the match was concluded. But they knew what they were doing, trust me, from, from a wrestler perspective. They were protecting their own self. Was there any truth into this that uh, Sabu said not to work his neck, and then you told him not to work your neck, and then somehow you guys started working each other's necks? Because I know you had a bad neck at the time, and I know Sabu had a bad neck. I've got a faint memory of something. Stay away from my neck or something. But it's not clear. Okay. It's not clear. How different was Paulie now as a boss and a booker compared to Paulie as your manager in WCW? Again, I caught him in a time where Paulie wasn't didn't own the company. I think it Todd was. Gordon. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't deal with him on that level. He was great to me. I came in, had a good time, got my money, and. and and left. Okay.